I'm Mehdi Benes. I'm a professor at the University of Oulu uh, in Finland. I'm here at the, this year's Mobile World Congress uh, representing uh, our uh, 6G flagship uh, project which started last year. This is an eight-year uh, research initiative which is about paving the, the way for the next generation of wireless systems, 6G. So uh, what is 6G? In fact, well, we're currently looking at uh, several uh, 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 components. The first one is, in fact, about ultra-reliable low latency communication, which was the uh, revolutionary part of 5G, which obviously has not been uh, resolved yet. So that would be part of what we call vanilla 6G. And then we're also working on uh, edge AI or distributed AI, which is uh, going to be enabling a number of, 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 of use cases uh, centered on, on low latency and high reliability. So as everybody knows, uh, AI has been associated typically with the cloud, so centralized cloud, where data is sitting in a data center and uh, all the training and inference happens therein. But as uh, we're pushing intelligence down to the edge, uh, that doesn't work anymore. So basically we need to now uh, push, push this intelligence down to the device. So device here means uh, sensor, uh, drone, vehicle. And basically the problem is now how do you collectively uh, train your models uh, across several devices, right? So this involves not only the device, but also the cloud. But so uh, the research problem here we're looking at is how do you do distributed training in a latency, low latency and reliable manner? How would you do now decentralized inference uh, while providing reliability? For certain use cases, you'll be able to provide uh, not a best effort or average based uh, inference, you would need some reliability. So this is important. And the third one is actually uh, touching upon, for instance, uh, robotics or cloud robotics, where you need now to do uh, reinforcement learning with uh, reliability uh, in terms of decision making. And of course now, as we start to, uh, to, to look forward, uh, new trends emerge. So of course we'll expect to have more bits, more spectrum with the advent of terahertz. But you also see now a convergence of several uh, modalities. So for instance, computing, caching, control. All these uh, 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 disciplines sort of space will, will have to converge now within 6G. So 6G will be the first uh, technology which will be basically about confluence of all these this new uh, uh, disciplines. Not only that, now we also talk about smart environments, smart services. So now uh, some people talk even about the end of the smartphone, where basically now the environment will be basically sensing, uh, uh, say, your heart monitoring and, and actuate, uh, acting upon it, right? So what we need to change is this new uh, user interface. What else? Sensing, imaging. This is also an important use case, uh, which is coming now uh, down the road. Uh, if one wants to talk to about futuristic applications, you can also think of uh, brain-computer interactions. So for instance, a brain implant uh, in a human driving his car, now the machine learning algorithm would need to predict with some reliability when, for instance, a seizure may happen so that you would stop the vehicle, right? So these are kind of new use cases which would require this uh, edge intelligence, basically not relying on a round trip time uh, uh, to the cloud. This is not gonna work for, uh, for mission critical applications. So basically, this is basically our, our focus. Uh, so we'll, have, we'll be having our first 6G summit next month, where the idea is to start uh, putting down the requirements, right? Every generation starts with requirements. So this will be our exercise uh, next month in Levy, in Finland. And from there, basically, uh, uh, come up with a white paper, which will start to break down a little bit what, what, what 6G uh, will, will be about. But certainly, uh, we know that, uh, let's say, the, the revolutionary part of 5G, namely URLC, will be playing a role, but now we'll need to extend it towards ultra-reliable low latency control, ultra-reliable low latency computing, and towards an end-to-end -to -end system design which has been failing uh, in 5G. As you know, 5G is all about the radio. So, some people speculate that actually now the radio part will take uh, passengers seat, whereas other, uh, uh, say, uh, disciplines such as computing, control, will, will, will start to have a, a bigger role. So this is in short uh, what, what uh, we are 